every time we argue over text, right, it feels like two sides playing battleship like that. Hey, you where? You are eating dinner or not? Faster can't pick me up, eh? Can you kindly shut the f*** up? There's a limit, yeah. Then in this situation, what can I do? I'm... Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> These five rules are going to save your relationship. This is your daily catch-up. This episode is brought to you by Okta, a global CFD broker with 12 years of experience, 40 million active trading accounts across 180 countries, and the winner of more than 60 industry awards. Speaking of awards, Okta was named broker with the fastest withdrawal Singapore 2023. So whether you're trading stocks, currencies, or any of their 300 other instruments, you're getting the fastest funds deposit and withdrawals experience in the market. Deposits only take 36 minutes. Wow. And if you were like me and had zero trading experience, Okta is the perfect place to start. Their trading app offers free courses, webinars, and live trading sessions that are useful for both beginners and pros. To kickstart your trading journey on Okta, download the Okta trading app via the link below and use our exclusive promo code for 100% deposit bonus. This means that if you deposit $500 to your account, you'll actually have $1,000 to trade. The Okta trading app is available on both the App Store and Google Play Store. So once again, you can download it from the link in the description or use this QR code. Don't worry. We'll wait. All good? Now, on to the episode. All right. <laughs> so it's the single. <laughs> Shut up, Jared! <laughs> he was thinking for a good five minutes before he came <laughs> up with this line. <laughs> All right, let's go. But not funny. <laughs> All right. We said it at the end of the episode. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's me again hosting a relationship episode. <laughs> Expert, why. Ah, yes. So I came across this Instagram post that was uh, very viral, and I'm curious <laughs> to know why because I can I I cannot read it. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Seven rules that will save your relationship. Before we begin, uh. do you guys have your own rules with your partners? Rules in your relationships that you believe will will keep the relationship alive, keep it strong, keep it stable. Yes. Wow, I like a lot of very dumb. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'm also thinking in my yeah. head, right? Then I wonder, like, is that too basic? You know? Yeah. Just say it. Like, we must celebrate everything. Even uh, the cliches. That's so, a like, good one. Valentine's Day, for example. Like, mm. even if you don't want to celebrate on Valentine's Day, you gotta celebrate Valentine's Day another day. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's what I'm doing this Saturday. So, <laughs> a bit long. <laughs> a bit long. Was it's this 21st es- February. When you do your Chinese New Year? <laughs> <laughs> was, this establi- <laughs> was this established from the beginning? Yes. Who Aww. established it? Me. Why? Because I, I was I was buying like roses for, for pet, right? Then after that, I, I think there was a conversation with another friend and he was talking about like, roses feels very norm. Like by, he, so he, he do other things, so not even flowers and all that stuff. And then we were having a conversation about flower really waste money. I think I was bitching about how expensive this bouquet is relative <laughs> to my age. La. And then um, after a while, we went into a conversation on how we got to respect the cliches because the cliches have lasted hundreds of years. Okay, help me then. So I used to, buy random flowers or so. Random flowers, but no, that's very different Random from- flowers as a random gesture of like, oh, ah, I'm thinking of you. Fantastic. Right? And then after that, her dog now allergic to pollen. Then after that, I think, okay, then I buy chocolates. Mm. Right? Because that's still quite a romantic thing. Uh, she she wants to the dog. She want lose weight. Ah. Then now, huh? Now I got nothing to Dry show my appreciation. <laughs> Your only two choices are flowers and <laughs> chocolates. You, you can what write else? notes. Like write a small note like on a post-it. Like and then I, you draw a flower. I do before. I even buy like balloon flower. I try to buy all sorts of like other variation of flower already. Used mm. panties. But I, 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 <laughs> I do want to say though, like as much as it's going to be very sweet and everything, right? You keep this up, right? Then it will be dissolved into nothing. Right? Like, it will just be a normal thing. Loses its meaning. No, so at first she also say like, waste money, waste money, don't buy. Then after the dog allergic already, right? Then after she, I realized that she missed uh, getting flowers. Right. So then the recent Valentine's Day uh, I bought for her. Then uh, she, yeah, she totally like go crazy. Women don't know what they want. Uh. Yeah. You, you got really, dog, really. right? Mm. You have a dog. <laughs> mm. So what me and my wife do, right? Is like we buy like stuffed toys. Oh, the dog cannot. Ah. Cause it's like all the germs will get caught inside cause of the saliva or that then the dog allergic. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is the dog. <laughs> <laughs> so what other rules do you have with your partners? Uh, we make sure that every night, right? Like I think every <laughs> night of my marriage has been, we make sure that we kiss. Three times at least. Three times Actually, yeah, at least. least. Yeah, but that's with my dog. <laughs> the dog has three kisses, <laughs> but then she get one kiss on the lips. Wait, they don't know The dog has three kisses on the head. <laughs> and then uh, always say like, I love you. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, that's why you know what we've been saying. Has anyone but... forgotten before? No. Okay. no. But how about when you fight? Like, oh. like you fight right before bedtime? No, never. Oh, do life. y'all right. resolve arguments before sleeping? Confirm. Must. Never mm. go to bed sleep early. Nev- never go to bed sleep early. <laughs> never go to bed <laughs> angry. No, I don't believe that. Ooh. No, no, I feel like sometimes what if you fight, right? Then you just need a break, but then like just nice is like night time. So why don't you just sleep on it and tomorrow then settle? Lah. Yeah, some of the problems is that I love to fight at night. <laughs> no, I, I think the problem with that is that, but I'm, I'm guilty of it also. But the problem with that is the next day, right? A lot of these things that you feel very strongly for, right? Start to feel like it's nothing. So, which is for the better also in a sense where we, we forgive and move on really quick like faster in the next morning because you don't feel the emotions you felt mm. when it happened. But then it's like sitting somewhere in your body. Right? Mm. right. And then it will compile. Uh, then yeah. one day you will explode. Uh. I think I made explode like three times. <laughs> <laughs> like really like suddenly scream at me. Like, Good like, for you. Yeah. 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 yeah, sorry. I was thinking of another guy. <laughs> Only three times? <laughs> A month. That's why. Yeah. So the very first rule is no topic is off limits. Always talk it out no matter how tough or uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure to, you have it used to be money. conversations. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It used to be money, it used to be oh. working out. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. if there's one party that's embarrassed of their habit, it becomes, it's usually embarrassed because like the moment you bring into a point where there is a clear front runner, right? And then the other person, it's not like by circumstance, I cannot help it. You can help it, but you just refuse to do it. Like saving money. Mm. Like working out. Mm. Um, this kind of conversation was difficult for Pat and I last time. And did you avoid it? No. For me, it still needs to be said. So I, I kind of mm. spread it out a bit. <laughs> like I, I try to say it too many All times a day. Uh, I try to like once every two weeks. <laughs> 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 no, I think on that note, right? I think learning how to correct your partner is important. Okay. A lot of times you cannot correct them in that moment because maybe they are feeling a build up of emotions or what and then it causes them to react that way, right? But the ability to approach that topic again tactfully later on to let them know that, okay, you shouldn't have reacted like that. Mm. Like say like maybe like root to your mom or whatever, right? Then yeah. you need to be able to correct them. And I think the, the key to that is not to force an apology out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is to is to make it such that the other party has a can honestly can mm. give an excuse and then you just take it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. You made me realize that I don't like talking about money with my wife. Because mm-hmm. I think I shared in the like a few episodes back that she makes more. She makes more and my savings are <laughs> and as I shared in another episode, my saving habits are terrible. <laughs> right. So like from time to time she will say like how much money you have in your bank account right now? Like your personal yeah. bank account. And I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, um, enough? As in there is like a shared goal that you're working towards that requires both of That's your finances. Thing. That's the thing. We've pretty much like achieved enough the to house, the expensive house, really, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I guess last year at least my mindset was like, okay, we got everything ready. La, so just, just kick, kick, live, kick back a bit and spend on the things you want to. La. But then mm. she is of another, like she always has to talk about uh uh, retirement and like mm. our future mm. and like what if our dog gets like uh, things I should be thinking about mm. and uh, so that made me very uncomfortable because I hadn't gotten into like the mm. the habit yet mm. uh, so I feel like I would try to brush it away yeah. I say like oh uh, enough lah enough no 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 I'll, I'll save next month how do you think she can better approach that topic with you then because you you also Don't know that it's something <laughs> <laughs> let me live my life no like you know that it's something that you mm. should be doing ma no, I think like bring it up as a passing remark. That doesn't give it the weight. But mm-hmm. if no, you but get- then it makes me feel like, I, I, uh, does he keep fit? Will he always feel like I'm nagging him? That's why, that's why. So like, I feel like if she were to sit me down uh, and that would be incom- uncomfortable in the moment, right? But then she said like, I think we really need to, I'm concerned as a partner, as a family, we should be uh, looking a bit more forward, looking for our expenses. Uh, and I feel like your side, we might not be getting there. Uh. So, right. mm. and I think you that, prefer that. If she sees me down, then I'll say that, oh, okay, oh. this means a lot to you now. No, I don't then, why, why didn't you let it get this far? Why, why can't you just wake up now? I woke up already actually. <laughs> yeah. So like, I mean, but if she had given me that, uh, that kind of talk, yeah. like last year, right? I would just immediately like, okay. O- honestly, mm. I don't think, I don't think you actually want that. I think you only want that cause probably back then it didn't happen yet. When it actually happened, right? That will be a last straw moment. And if you don't change and pivot immediately, right? then you're gonna immediately get it within two weeks. But again, because she deemed that you didn't listen or you don't feel like this is important enough for her. And then if you still don't do it, then she silent quit the marriage. Oh, eh. You know what I mean? (laughs) Or or we normalize the tough conversations and like we just make it a SOP that every time there's something that serious that we want to talk about, then 
we sit down and talk about it. Lah. Just like rule number one. I think it's interesting where this conversation is going because based on the first point, right? This first rule, I think there are two parts to it. Mm. So we are kind of addressing like, what are the difficult conversations to have in a relationship and how we should address it. Mm. Um, and the other half to me, I think to make it a bit more fun is, what are some topics that you think are off limits? Meaning there's really no point talking about this. It just, it doesn't do any do any favors to the relationship. For example, like, I keep bringing up my exes, stories oh. about my exes or like my past sexual oh. experiences. Does that, you know what I mean? Is that something that it should be considered off limits because it's pointless? I'm thinking, wait. No, but the fact <laughs> that you- It doesn't even go there though. I think the fact that you keep bringing it up, right? Means that you are trying to say something. Because if not, why are you saying it? Or what is making, what is lacking that keeps making you recall these past experiences that perhaps were better? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. In the same way, I feel like they, a lot of people feel like, oh, for no reason, my girlfriend went like, like went crazy or mm. like for no for no reason, my boyfriend exploded on me, that kind of stuff, right? I feel like it's actually, you don't know how to catch hints. Mm. Mm. There's always a reason. Or yeah. the hints suck. Or the hints oh, suck. True. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe you said multiple times, say in a way that's joking so you don't take it so hard. Say in passing so that, and allow you, allow you to make an excuse. Mm. So, but I, I like, I hope you captured the mm. message, mm. Uh, you know, but you, I'm not going to force you into yeah. submission today. Like if the hints don't work, then it, it gets to a certain point, then there's a blow up, right? Mm. Then I feel like, oh, you suddenly blow up me. There was nothing. Mm. Yeah, but no, there was not nothing. You just never caught the hint. Right. But to prevent the blow ups, right? Cause as in me and my partner also don't like to talk about money. As Can we say my partner and I? My Cause the boy, you are doing it and it really irks me. <laughs> My partner and I don't really like to talk about money because we tend to be a bit um, sensitive about it. Like, like if he phrase it wrongly, then I'll be like defensive or like if I phrase it wrongly, then he's also defensive. So I realized like we subconsciously do this now. Like when we talk about money things, right? Then we will purposely bring it up in like a damn cute voice. Okay. Like, so okay. to be still. <laughs> no, 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 talk to you about this issue, okay? Yeah. You don't oh, baby take, it, you don't take it as like I'm uh, arguing with you, okay? You must yeah. listen. Like I must say until yeah. like that. Right? But can you afford it? <laughs> no, but I feel like- I would like to see you no. doing it actually. <laughs> In the start it's like that, but then I feel like it helps, right? Don't make it so- Heavy. Yeah. Heavy. It, it mm. makes it like, like cute, like we talking about it together, like- in a playful way. Like, right. It's not so serious. Because I feel like if you go into very serious, then suddenly feel like business meeting, like you cannot scolded by your boss. That but that's what he wants. Different strokes, <laughs> different folks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, you flip that as well. <laughs> no, that's the correct one. Your oh, yeah, attraction yeah, yeah, yeah. for the gender that you are attracted to. So for example, like for Jared to talk to his wife about another pretty girl, mm. might, be, might be difficult. That's not. Uh, <laughs> no, but sometimes it's like attraction is, sub uh, sorry, objective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, or like, yeah, yeah. like this body is objectively nice. Like Sydney Sweetie is pretty hot. La. I got tell her that like yesterday actually. No, then how, then how, how huh? she react? Like, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the normal reaction. Eh. Yeah. No, why, why can't you... your body be like that? No, but that's a, <laughs> no, but, okay. No, no, but it's the distance between people. Let, but let's say it's, yeah, if, if it's Alison, yeah. then maybe If it's run. Alison, then there's yeah. a yeah, problem. Yeah, I think if it's like, uh, let's say you find your partner's close friends. Mm, don't do that. Hot, <laughs> I think don't say. Yeah. You just like hot. Correct, and correct, then correct, correct. Pass, Can you explain to me what happens in your mind if your boyfriend says that about your friend? Yeah. Like, like Dara say it shows them hot, yeah. Then I'll be like, yeah, yeah, hot. Then if he <laughs> continue on, yeah, that day she went. Like, <laughs> There's just no good conclusion. Yeah, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Huh? Do you feel I'll disrespected like, or you feel inferior or what? No, I'll be like, what, what are you thinking about? That because she's hot, like, I just popped into my mind and yellow. she's pretty hot. Like. But it keep popping into his mind. Yeah, why can't you have a hot friend? And why can't he be yeah. honest about it? Yeah. No, but like why, the, as in, okay, I understand she hot. <laughs> yeah. And we already passed that. I also say hot, then end. Like why uh. does he- No, but, I, but, but I if, if, like, if, if let's scroll then, then like Shams come out on the feet again. He's like, wow, we eat them hot. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's disgusting. <laughs> you can't say anything. You can't say anything. No, 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 Shams not disgusting. I meant like, <laughs> that is like objectifying my friend. I feel that that is a bit weird. What, but what, when he say you hot, he not objectifying you. <laughs> no, <it's laughs> like when you come out something, I'm like, oh, man, you look damn hot. Then like, what? Don't objectify me. No, it's like suddenly Ted say, then what? Then, then today, ah, what? Them hot, yeah. Then he, she say at least five minutes about how that is them attractive. Then you'll be like, hey, whoa, no, no. So the question happening? is, how do you actually feel? 
No, I would just think like, hey, what's happening? Like, what, what is this? Like, what is he trying to like, get Like, where is it yeah. coming from? Is it just yeah. hot? No, why don't you like, ask? Huh? So like, for example, right? <laughs> if Pat hypothetically does uh -huh. that, right? And which we do, like, uh, we, we check out people <laughs> then, together, yeah, right? Yeah. And then, then. <laughs> check out that one. <laughs> Daddy. I will be like, I'll be wondering in my head, uh -huh. is, are you trying to tell me something? Are you telling me to lose weight? Are you telling me to cut uh, my hair? Are you yeah, telling me yeah, to change yeah, my yeah. dressing? Uh, yeah. yeah. No, so I think commenting on your partner's physical appearance or anything that might allude to your partner that you are unsatisfied with how they look, that is very difficult to talk about. And then the difficult part is also that, you know, you try to be honest with your partner, you also don't want to hurt them. Right? Or like, for example, when my partner says, uh, she don't think I'm fat, but it's like, I think I am. Uh, Mm -hmm. then to me, it sounds like she's just lying to me. What? Yeah. And then objectively, based on the scales, I am what? Uh, the scales don't tell you you're fat. Uh -huh. Ooh, Ooh. No, it's F8. <laughs> F8. Yeah. Oh. So then I think that is the most difficult for me. But I do this thing if he like, say like, as a joke, la, if he say like this celebrity hot, like keep saying. Uh. Wait, you do it as a joke or he says it as a joke? I, I do it as a joke. Are you saying the baby voice? <laughs> he, he also does it as a joke. So, as in, we learned it from our friend. La. So let's say he, he say mm. like, oh, the girl is hot. Wow, she, she can hit me with her hand like when they dance. Yeah. Right? Then I'll say, there's a limit, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. But there's really a limit. <laughs> It's a thinly veiled thread. No, yeah. but I think it's like, it, it stops it before it ever <laughs> yeah. goes like haywire. Right. Which goes to show intonation is everything. Yeah, right? on thin ice. Uh, good girl. for you. Good yeah. for you. Oh, we're trying to figure out whether there's a nice way to say good for you. Like, hey, yeah. I got promoted, good for you. It, as in, it's not sarcastic. Uh. Yeah. yeah. But you cannot make it sound sarcastic. Give me your most sincere one. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds jealous. Yeah. Really, yeah. Yeah. You know me, Judgy. <laughs> yeah. No, you must add the A in front. Like, ah, like good for you. A, good for you. A. No, sounds like I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like I bought a dog. Oh, good for you. Ah, you know? oh, good for you. That's, that's, easy. Easy. that's, that's the worst one. That's the worst one. Yes, condescending. Oh, <laughs> you got dog. That's like 400 other people in this world. Okay, what are, what's your question? The one that is actually off limits. What did I say just now? <laughs> what is some the topic crazy. that is should be off limits among I think cannot, partners? I think cannot. I feel like talking about your partner's family in a negative. very negative sense, even though they never do anything, right? <laughs> very is uh, off limits, I think. No, but what if the family is like really tough? Uh, thank you. No, I, I feel like I, I dare to say if really like I dare to say like, oh, that, that's not very nice. But I feel like... <laughs> That's a limit, yeah. You tell about auntie. There's really a limit for you to not say until like yeah, yeah, yeah. so like I don't you, you can describe the problem, but you cannot start insulting. Yeah, yeah you yeah, can yeah, say yeah. like, hey, bitch, yeah. she's no bitch. Oh yeah. You must be like, oh, that's not very nice. Like, I feel like there's a limit of your <laughs> expression for the family. Like, right. I really cannot say So that. just like the hotness one, it's a bit like, okay, we just touch on it and then go already. Like, don't keep getting deeper. But what if it's yeah. a problem that actually needs to change? Like, yeah, like it affects you. Then yeah. you have a serious talk. Yeah, but I think the way you say it cannot be until like, because it's still your family, ma, like mm. your family. But you do need to talk about it. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. So if it's like what topic you cannot talk about, right? Don't mm. have, yeah. mm. Last time, right? Before I was really like deep into media, right? Like we could, um, I could say this influence, oh, body them tight, body them tight. <laughs> and then Pat like, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Then slowly, 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 everybody you call your friend, right? Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. She does as if. You like the photo? Like, you know, she's doing it. There's a limit. I used yeah. to gonna that chat. So we happy birthday someone. from that person. Why that person will we be sure happy birthday? Why cannot just be on Instagram like everybody? Why must we show on WhatsApp? Uh -huh. yeah. No, wait, then how do you do that? Don't. <laughs> I see there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Normalize it. Yeah. Shit. I think what helped, right, with, with Pat and I was we always had a heart reset. The heart reset comes in the form of a fire or some form of breakdown or some mm. some one of us resigned to fate, that kind of like mm. where like like Pat and I also couldn't talk about money last time. And until when I got into credit card debt in like 2017, 2018, then when I had to show hand with her, and then one year later she got into credit card debt, and then she had to show hand to me. Mm. Then from now on, right, we were just like my savings hitting 100k. Eh? Then like, you know, or like, <laughs> or like when I invest, right, then I win money, I tell her. I lose money, I also tell her. Mm. But last time, lose, don't I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm. like, crypto is like a cowboy town, right? Why, why mm. you still playing crypto? You know that kind of thing? Yeah, so like last time, I wouldn't dare to say. Mm. That brings me to the second rule, which is bring concerns up immediately and kindly. Don't sit on them and let them build. Mm. I think the kindly part is the difficult part. <laughs> bring concerns up immediately, no problem. 
<laughs> kindly. Can you then kindly shut the f*** up? <laughs> Good the for cute, you. Say the cute voice. Good for it you. Helps. <laughs> no, the problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the okay. father really <laughs> no, I'm the opposite. I have a problem with the immediate and more of the I'm okay the kindly. Good for you. <laughs> you know what? Really? Hmm? Good for you though. Still not there. <laughs> but yeah. No, I also have a problem with the immediate because I yeah. feel like I need time uh, to process. process. And I also I don't know what I'm feeling sometimes. Yeah. Mm, mm, so I feel yeah, like yeah. I need to settle down. That's why I don't mind like sleeping on it. Because mm. in bed, right, I'm thinking like, what is wrong? Ah? Do I feel that it's wrong? Yeah. Like I really don't Should know I the problem. Should I be this angry? Yeah. Mm. That kind of thing. No, so I think that is okay. That I also need the time to process on whether this is a legit enough reason to be upset. But I think the important part, right, is that no matter how petty you think it is, you need to bring it up. Mm. And so like this second rule, I relate to really, a lot because yeah. it's something that I practice with my partner and I realize it's very important to do because recently my partner like sat me down and like gave a long talk la, about some uh -huh. of the things that she's not happy with in the relationship. And then to me, right, it was like, I was very shocked because it felt like every single time we discussed uh, mm. this problem, she never brought it up. Right. And then all of a sudden, right, she said actually all along she's not happy. Aww. Then I'm like, huh, yeah. like what's going on? Then right, the after that problem is, okay, so I tried to like drill down to like, what is her actual issue, right? Like what is she actually upset about or where is this coming from? Right. Then after that, the goalpost will shift. Cause then yeah. she realized she's actually unhappy about something else. Okay, okay, okay. Then like it's I think all these emotions that like over time, right? She don't want to bring it up because she wanted to process it by herself, right? Mm -hmm. And then also she wanted to kind of come to a conclusion that she can share with me. So is what you're saying, like, if you give it too much time to stew, mm. then like the thoughts get all muddled up mm. and may get like tangled with your Perhaps no, I think issues. a lot of things, right? It's like you think, 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 and then it becomes this problem that actually doesn't exist. Correct, correct. And I and I think the reason why that occurs is when when you sit on it for too long, mm. you begin to make assumptions of what the other person is yeah, really exactly. thinking or feeling. Mm. So that's why the faster you can bring it up, the faster the both of you can troubleshoot. Yeah. But if you do need time to think, I, I don't believe in bringing it up, bringing concerns up immediately. immediately. Yeah. I do think it's okay to sit on it a while to process. Yeah. And the three questions that you sh I usually ask myself is, what is the problem um, that triggered me? And then how do I actually feel about it? How do I actually feel about it in that moment? Because sometimes <laughs> you, you <laughs> there's, there's then down to the last one. <laughs> <laughs> and then how should I respond? Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of time when you're in the in the moment also, right? Mm. Then you then heated, all right. Mm. Actually you're not processing how you actually feel about it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And and something that I also believe very strongly about is almost every single aspect of life is a mirror to show you it, to, to show you who you are how you feel about it tells you something about yourself. Mm -hmm. So it may be you are triggered or you feel jealous. Why? Because you're actually insecure about something, mm. you know? You're projecting. Yeah. Oh, so he's a guy uh, who's gone to therapy. <laughs> very <laughs> articulate. Yeah. So, so how that's long, why I don't believe in, in, in immediacy. So how long does it take to answer those three questions? Honestly, I think a 24 hour window is okay. Whoa, Whoa that's that so is longer long, than yeah. I thought eh. No, no, hour, within okay. 24 hours, within 24 hours. Because sometimes <laughs> like maybe the, the problem occurs at night. Then you sleep on it. I will be set off like four more times on a new, <laughs> four new topics in that 24 hours. Oh, yeah. no, but you got, you got your mind very fast. No, it's, it's just true. like, no, no, no 24 no, no, hours no, no, is a really no. long fucking time. Yeah. It is. No, but it's it depends, think, ma, no. Because my other issue is also that, right? I and, and it will connect to the later point, right? Is that I need to talk to the person either via call or face to face. Because mm. texting too much gets lost in translation yeah, yeah, also. Yeah. No, and the person assumed your intonation because intonation is everything. Yeah. Good yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, so Full okay. Stop. I think right, the thing that I need to process is that, for example, say, oh, the wash the dishes example that John gave before, I think, is that like, you're not happy that your partner never wash the dishes. Then you like, as you complain to your partner, like, then your partner think, what the heck? I just one time never wash dishes only then suddenly she blow up. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, actually yeah. what she's actually angry about is maybe like, oh, he don't value what I say because this is something that I brought it up yeah. to him previously. And then he mm. just like, it's just not important to him enough to remember and to do it. Lo. Yeah. Yeah. So then I need to troubleshoot like what is the root problem and, and then be able to phrase it. On that note, I realized that many of these things happen when there is something that you are deeply unhappy about. Mm. But when you try and think about it, right? you cannot properly articulate what is it mm. that you are unhappy about. Yeah. So I will naturally find a way to latch on something you did that I don't like. Mm. Right, but sometimes right. you don't know. You know, sometimes like you feel unhurt, but you feel like there's no point I tell you that I feel unhurt because that's me, my where, where, which level of where I feel seen by you 
is completely arbitrary. Mm. Yeah. But I feel insufficient and you mm. don't articulate that because you feel like it's almost nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you latch on to the fact that you f***ing never wash the plate. To, so to add to that, right? Mm. One of the techniques I always use within the 24 hours, right? Is research. So what I do is I will <laughs> Google my best friend. <laughs> These guys, yeah. Every experience that you've been through, right? Other people's life already. Mm. So you go and find Quora, you go and find Google, go and all this nonsense, right? There are articles about it, right? What I, the, the, the trick to this is that you must Google your problem, how you feel about it. And you see all the people that relate to you, their solutions, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Then you do the opposite. You mm. Google it from their POV. If you are the other party, then you get to see As how- As my partner is not happy that I didn't do the dishes, that kind. Something like that, yeah. Okay. So you get to see both perspectives first mm. and the shit kind of sentiment or, or they will give you like, terminologies that you otherwise wouldn't have thought of, mm, which, and, and so most balanced. of the time when you're thinking about something, you you keep going in circles around the, the same terms that you always use, right? And then that kind of keeps you trapped. Mm. Yeah, so by using like external yeah. resources, you get mm. to, to, to open up your mind a little bit yeah. more to understand mm. the, 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 Actually, the problem. Actually, emotional words are really very underrated mm. because mm. You, you can only describe your feelings with the words you know. Yeah. Mm. And sometimes you haven't learned the, the feeling yet. And so you default to the nearest one, which could be anger when it's not anger. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is why I think like the important part for this rule two for me, right, is no matter how petty you feel like it is. Because yeah. sometimes it's really to me like, ah, yeah, maybe other people will just let this go, you know? Mm. But like if I say already, then it sounds like, ah, is it I'm trying to be controlling? Yeah, mm. but I think that's not the case. And a lot of times, like how ideas need to be bounced, right? I think sometimes it needs to be talked it out, right? And then we figure it out together what the actual root cause of the problem is. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So no matter what, like, no matter how petty, try to like bring it up in not a scolding way. Mm. That's where the kindly part comes in. <laughs> okay. So rule number three, all serious talks are phone calls or in person. Texting is only for grocery store lists and flirting. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. So uh, John Paul also did also mention just now, right? That he thinks that it can get lost. A lot of things can get lost in translation over text. Mm. So to me, I prefer having the full-fledged fight over um, text and then the final AAR, the debrief in person. So the takeaway part. The whole fight is text. Ah. Yeah. As in, if we fight in person that kind, then ah. we reach a point that we cannot talk already, right? Then say we both go home. No. Then after that, we continue over text. <laughs> oh, I agree. No, so I agree. why is because I realized, right, that a lot of things like, I need time to phrase it. Mm. And then it's like when I type it out and then I can realize, oh shit, this sounds terrible. Like it's like, I'm being so petty over here. Then I can think, okay, what is it actually I'm upset about? Then I can rephrase better. And then I can phrase certain things to like to disclaimer certain things. Yeah. Oh, you, talk, I think, you don't even need to do all that. No, but in real life, then you might say something that actually hurts them that you don't mean. You cannot take you're it on the way, yeah, yeah, you're on the way getting oh. to what you actually mean, which you can do in text. And then after say finish ready, right? Then we were, when we next meet in person, then we will talk about the, are you resolved? Yeah. That, that's yeah. when any other thing that like didn't get brought up over text, we will bring it up. Or if we are resolved already, then what is the action number? Then that is in person. Yeah. Okay. My yeah. flow is slightly different. Okay. My flow is like, as that's though I'm preparing for presentation uh, kind, or meeting. I will break down the points first and then see how <laughs> certain things should be articulated. But that's, my, that's in my safe messages. <laughs> safe then, messages. Then get on the call in person and talk. Because oh. as I'm elaborating, we talk about this, right? Intonation and all this kind of thing, body language, everything, mm. right? All the skills and all that. So important. So then I clear all those already. If there's some misunderstanding, even after all of that, mm. then I can clarify. But I don't want it to based on this point, this one sentence, right? Then already got so many misunderstandings. Mm. Then after that, right? Then the text is the minutes of the- <laughs> So minutes. Yeah. It's the minutes, the conclusion. Because right. I feel like it needs to be safe somewhere. Mm. No, yeah. so the important A -A thing to clarify over text is that I am not trying to say da 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 That is the what it can be misunderstood as. Okay, but what okay. I'm actually trying to get at is this. I just yeah. feel like the text one is like so uh, calculated, you know? Like, In their head, they will like, hear it as, I'm not trying to say this, ah. Don't don't think this way, ah. Like when 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 someone reads to you a text of someone they don't like, they they you are very <laughs> <team, right? laughs> <laughs> She said, "What? Good morning, eh? What learning? Good morning. <laughs> like good morning, <laughs> yeah." <laughs> I'm condescending this bitch. Show. Morning is good. It was raining, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I feel, I haven't had experience of like arguing with my wife over text, but then like based on past uh, relationships, like every time we argue over text, right? It's like it feels like two sides playing battleship like that. Right. You know, it's I send one long text, then I wait until I see the typing, 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 and then suddenly 
no typing and then she's like wow how best can I can I like mm. be on the upper hand and then she shoot one long paragraph and then now I'm on that side then I do right it just feels very like no, but so you need to set the expectation ma, that it's not that and then also the best part about texting is that I can she say something I can later then go reply because I'm finishing my point on something else then I can go reply back by the way um, on this point da, da, da. but in real life I cannot like say already the moment pass already I forget about it already that yeah, actually yeah, it boils you forget what you say yeah I prefer the real, the raw emotion so of a face to face. No, but I, things, I, I yeah. tried the raw emotion one. You know, how, like your whole <laughs> hand, like because I got Good see online, right? They say like, oh, when you talk, you must hold hand. You, you want jump across? <laughs> your whole hand. Oh, she's more than one jump across. <laughs> they hold hand all the time. <laughs> no, like whole hand talk because you feel like you're in mm. this together. Yeah, 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 yeah. That kind of thing. But I try, right? I just feel like I got stage fright. That kind, of, like you know, when you look at the person, then you suddenly forget everything you want to say. Then you like, what I saying? Ah, then you you feel like with you're your away. with your boyfriend. No, I say like when you're very angry that time, then it's, it just feels like performative. That's why you hold the notes on the side. No, that's why I, I prefer like. No, but they're in the moment now. Yeah, in the moment, but then the iPad here. No, they're having no, the fight right now. <laughs> no, I think it just don't suit everybody's style to do that <laughs> as an avoidant person. Because I don't even like the confrontation part. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I feel like the texting, the pre texting, right, will help me like. Mm adjust my mind a bit mm. before talking at AR. Also, right. John Paul's version is that, but you just don't send it out. You send it to yourself. <laughs> it's all in here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I think I'm the, the your method. Thank you. I don't even is it agree. girls are like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even agree on the phone call thing. It should be face to face. Mm. Like, you, mm. phone call got some communication methods that are hidden still. Uh, like, you know, facial expression. You can fake a voice over phone call. Uh. Like, is everything okay? Yeah. Actually, yeah. I agree. I would do actually face to face followed by text, then phone call. Yes, that is I the order. Text is more, <laughs> text actually is more expressive than a phone call. Eh? Mm. Wow. Yeah. Because no, you can say all the words that it doesn't come to my mind yeah. right now. No, if like they're on the train, for example, <laughs> then they cannot properly articulate their yeah, emotions, yeah. right? Uh. Then they'll just, okay. Yeah. Then you f***ing pick eh? You know what I mean? Because at some point, uh, you're trying to trigger some form of reaction as it's a cry for help, yeah. right? Then that person is just, okay, sorry. Then you just feel like you little bitch, you know? Yeah. But actually it's not. It's just they cannot they cannot talk out loud. Yeah. But in text, maybe he sent one long message, right? Yeah. Then the wife type 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 type. Suddenly delete. Then suddenly KK. <laughs> but to me that's out. <laughs> to me, I think uh, that one feel like going out. Yeah. Like it's just you you are you are you are busy now, you, you type later or you you type ready now, you want to retype, you know? But I feel like phone call, right? Also got one new risk that is my like quite triggering one. Which is they realize that they're too angry to talk to you, but they are still on the train, right? Uh. And then they hang out on you. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, the hangout is super triggering. Super triggering. But the text, right? Just reply late. Not that triggering. But must off the scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's so petty. No, because I feel like last time, right? People yeah. will look at the scene, then if you seen it, right? Yeah. But have a reply, take yeah, like yeah. five minutes, then the, you're like, why you see? But the timer yeah, yeah. starts from the Wait, you can thing. off. Yeah. Oh. So that means you can read already, but they don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. <sighs> but <laughs> it works both ways, lah. You cannot see other people's scene uh, yeah. also. Uh, yeah. huh. wow. But if you're online on Telegram, I think still can see. Mm. Okay. But the important part is also that like usually argument, right? The person that is in the wrong want to immediately resolve. But then the person that is uh, got hurt, right? Need time to process. So usually there's a mismatch, a mismatch there. Correct. <laughs> mismatch there. So then uh, what my yeah. partner and I do is just we have a code word for like when we don't want to not really talk about it and then when we're ready. No, don't abuse me. I should abuse one. Like if I'm angry, right? I will just keep telling I'm not ready to. I no, I miss you're angry. I miss there's something that you need to process. No, but I'm ready to process. I, I'm just using it to like a, uh, don't talk to me. Oh, then don't yeah, weaponize yeah, yeah. it. Oh. So on the, the second half of this point, which I'm quite curious about, right, is how do you all flirt on text? Ooh. Wait, what? How, what how do you, you flirt turn? on text? <laughs> huh? It's called sexting, bro. What? <laughs> sexting is a type of flirting. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not all flirting. Ma. Wait, wait, does your wife think this? Sexting? <laughs> does your wife think this? <laughs> 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 how do men flirt? Do you all, do you all have examples of how men flirt? Pat just texted me a picture of me now flush the toilet this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Not flirting. But is it a poop in a hardship? No. <laughs> there is flirting. So I guess we are flirting also because like, okay, Jared as my witness. Huh? Hey, let's go. Hey. Y'all got so, do the, so, the oh yeah, my god. Then she say, can me present ah. Then I say, not me. <laughs> I'm the us in the house. This is disengaging. Wait, where's the flirting part? That's funny. Then not me ah. Why so much? Huh? 
So, so much that's shit. Pee, like, yeah, that's pee. I think that's pee, right? Uh, Wait, is, so yeah, is yeah, joking flirting? flirting? <laughs> I don't think joking is flirting, yeah, joking though. Is Honestly, not I think flirting. I don't flirt on text anymore. So. No, you, you all got to the... say some sweet, sweet thing, you know? Like, love you. Love you is not, not flirting. Uh, love you is... No, you all got to do the bird fly to your hand, carry the rose in one shit. We were just doing it. Hey, don't don't remember this girl. <laughs> 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 the the she actually censored it because we it was actually you know a big trend? closer. Uh, no. It's like the I like that take a picture of my hand, right? Then I put an emoji of a bee. Then I put an emoji flower, then I say I'm sending this to you. Then I take a picture of the sky, then I say, Oh, the bee is flying to you now. Oh, that's quite Then when cute. I receive it, I say, Oh yes, I can see the bee flying, then I catch it in my hand, then I send something back that kind It's of the new right. age version of the I totally don't understand yeah. what you're talking about. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and I feel like she caught it at the correct time. <laughs> <laughs> she she, she accounted yeah. for, for the angle of the ball. Of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am an F boy after all. <laughs> also, you don't flirt. I think it's more present. Oh, I don't like, just uh, coughing. That's a problem, ah. Huh? Hey, Mister Me. I also think I can't. I don't think I flirt. Do you use sticker? Yes. I think oh, stickers all the time. Substitute for flirting. No, can you tell me what the fuck? Like on dating apps, how do you flirt? Uh, Don't say the show me your pussy kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause he got cat, so he will, oh. he will play that one. Actually, everything. what is flirting? Uh? In, in an established <laughs> relationship, <laughs> maybe I never flirted with my no, wife for 10 me, years. To yeah. me, flirting is like teasing, a bit a bit like teaser. Uh. It can be a bit teasing, it can like be when a bit sexual, but it doesn't say no, 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 you're completely <laughs> off. No, what if I say uh, handsome? No. No. Like it no. could literally be like, you look really good today. Or, or send the person, like they send you a oh, photo. It's just a compliment now. Oh. It's a compliment though. It's definitely yeah, but yeah. it's like, you're trying to make the other person feel good. Ma. Okay, like we text each other in random parts of the day to tell each other, to remind each other that we miss them. Is that flirting? No, I think flirting, right? It's I think like, it must be naughty. It's soft flirting. No, it's like, I can't wait for you to come home. <laughs> I got a present <laughs> for you. you say home yeah, the second part that makes you flirting, right? The yeah, first part- was established was what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a present for you, just send it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's difficult, I think, because like in Singapore, we use less of words and then like more of text. Like that day we talk about like the holding the arm kind of thing, right? Mm. But then when you're in a relationship, that's normal. So that's not considered flirting, you know mm. what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, Wait, how do marry people flirt? Can, can teach me. <laughs> Shit, uh, balls. Know, uh, I'm uh, having an existential, existential Explo- crisis. Exploding video bubble. Ooh. Of what? Like what you do? It must, it it must, flirt. Flirt. Oh. must flirting be sexual though? Because I feel like when we were dating, yeah. our, a lot of our flirting were non-sexual, man. Okay, I uh, think footsie, like, footsie. it might be cute <laughs> to do like cringy, like you probably send a very cringy like um, pickup line. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like to keep things playful. But why? Fun lah, it's not so sad. <laughs> Every day just, hey, you wear, you are eating dinner or not? Faster come like up, fun then why not I just ask you a yeah. video? That's fun also. Do you want to do you at work now? No, why not I give you a fun fact? That's fun also. <laughs> Can lah. But then if there's a twist at the end, right? To actually compliment her or like to say something about her, you know what I mean? Okay, marriage.com. I need help there. 15, <laughs> 15 ways to romantic. Okay? <laughs> 15 ways to romantically flirt with your spouse. Okay. Number one, leave love notes. Okay, we do okay. that. Okay, sexologist uh, episode, let's go. Use body language. So a playful touch on the arm, a hug from behind, or simply holding hands. Oh, in real life, yeah? Yeah, in real, real life, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then, uh, <laughs> oh, you, I, I'm really planning it. Oh, oh, you want to be playful. <laughs> be playful. Uh, so engage in, ah, uh, then light banter. A <laughs> sense of playfulness. Like, not my poop, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not light banter. <laughs> and then, plan weekend getaways, like surprise, that kind. Okay. Uh, light teasing. Gentle ribbing can add a layer of ribbing. excitement. Ribbing. I think it's like nudging there. I think it's this. There's more action than Pat ever got. <laughs> and apparently humor, yes, is often one of the ways of flirting. Okay. Oh, then he- No, how do we do it on text? No, I, okay, okay. Playful teasing, playful teasing. Okay, how about every time okay, she posts like an Instagram story, right? You just last for her. Huh? Like, hey babe, you damn hot. I do it in the comment section for the world to see. Oh my God. <laughs> you see, and that makes it less special, right? Huh? Private DM. No, but must it be sexual? No. No, it doesn't have to. I, I feel like it does, but yeah, I feel like, like everyone. <laughs> like he specifically was the last for her. Eh. <laughs> like when she wears a dress, like I can't wait to rip it out. Cause you wanted to feel like, <laughs> you, wanted, you wanted to feel wanted and like, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to beat you down eh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh. Isn't that like hot and passionate and romantic? Isn't that the whole point of flirting? Okay, okay, I'll let you know. I'll yeah, give you some updates. No, but hey, I don't hey. think it has to be sexual like that. It's a category of- You think, you think, you think deep down- 
<laughs> do you think deep down somewhere you're making your wife damn uncomfortable? <laughs> She's like, I feel like I'm married to a 14 year old. <laughs> you another, think another deep somewhere, <laughs> somewhere buried inside, she's like, I mean, he keeps asking me for handies and shit. How old is he? So right, it's like for example, you want to buy like coffee for this person. So you ask them like, oh, what, what would you like to have your coffee with? Then they reply, you. Oh, I do that all the time then. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't think she considers it. It's just like, no, 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 when you've been together for this What's long, for lunch, yeah. you? you are just wasting my time. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> like, babe, first time I'm at the front already. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's true. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm in the cashier already. No. I ask you, hey, do you need extra Panadol? No. Then she's like, oh, I don't need, I only need you. Then fuck you, like, So you want to <laughs> Singaporeans at home. Everything's so practical. <laughs> but I prefer Neurofen. <laughs> Next rule. Take your partner's expression of pain seriously. If it hurts, it matters to me. No, I think we do it. And I think we do it to our friends also, or colleagues. For example, when they say like, oh, this really makes them very sad. That I just say like, oh, no, but it just not shouldn't be like that. You know, that kind, that, mm. that kind of dismissive. Yeah, like said for what? Yeah. <laughs> no, so I train myself in my head that the first line is always emotional, like react, supportive. The both of you are like robots trying to be like human. Yeah. 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 Don't just be eh. Yeah. 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 You like, need to read yeah. on the like dummy's yeah. guide to be human and just like try to <laughs> fight with us. We're seated like this for a yeah. reason. Yeah. Then after that, but did you try this? <laughs> right. There's this thing my second, my Ertie did for me growing up. And, and she, whenever I say it, she always think that I'm giving her shit. But I always count it as one of a pivotal moments, or oh, it's, it's my entire childhood, like, you know, but it's a very pivotal happening that, that mold me. In that, if I want to talk, I must hold your attention. Ah. If I don't hold your attention, <laughs> I will lose my audience. No way. Yeah, because you're like, so what are you talking about? Or like very, you know, like you talk, 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 she's like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about already. Then she will just f off, you know? <laughs> she trained you to be podcaster <laughs> from, <laughs> from like yeah, years old. Yeah. coming back. <laughs> So like, yeah, I, my sister was very no nonsense with me Jesus. because I was very irritating to begin with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was. When I <laughs> stopped at six years old, so you never met the guy. <laughs> like when you meet people and then people are out of being cordial, right? The shit that they won't say to you, like, Denise, your storytelling too f long already. I cannot follow. You know, like people are not going to tell you that when you yeah. grow up, in, I mean, unless they're bullying you, right? Um, but, or you get to some special chat, lah, right? But rarely people will tell you that. You know, there's this thing. When you're overwhelmed with anxiety and blah, 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 right? a lot of experts say, write, write it down on a list. Then you circle the priority. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. it does a few things, right? It helps you realize that your problem is not 20 problems. It could be two problems that you're applying on 20 situations. So it feels like 20 problems, but it's just two problems. Mm -hmm. Then you get very overwhelmed by 20 problems, right? Mm -hmm. So you write down on a list that you circle what's important. Then the one that's not important, ignore, cause you cannot make everybody happy. Right, right, right. What, what this whole methodology, right, is that person very nicely asking you, so actually what's the problem? Mm. It's just who, if you are kind, you will say, take time to write down, blah, 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 blah. Mm. If I want to be efficient or I'm unkind, not, not that I'm mean, I'm just not being kind. I will just ask you to be honest, so what's the problem? So that means last time your storytelling even longer. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think okay. <laughs> to answer John's question, I don't think it's the recipient's responsibility to troubleshoot your trauma. Yeah, mm. but I think it is like basic respect that you give the person, right? Because the fact that they would even Approach bring it up you. to you, right? Yeah. Means they value the relationship enough, right? To want to try to work something out. So then that like you do the bare minimum of reciprocating and giving them that space law. But it is not your responsibility, right? To help them as in work through it. At different points uh, in the past two years, I think me and my wife were both trying to change jobs. And then the job search uh, process is long. <sighs> it's long and it's hard. Okay, so like, it's, it's like, it can be stretches where you are like, <laughs> Okay, that's why I didn't intentionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be stretches where you are just like, you know, like going on LinkedIn, trying to find positions and all that kind of you grow. You go for, okay. But then you, you go to interviews, you see, you waiting just for, for, the, for the recruiter to come back and all that kind of stuff. So there's a very, very long stretch and we both have experienced it of like, just feeling like shit lah for the day. And we just, and like when we're walking the dog, we just have to just commiserate. Say like, wow. Oh, like, the, like the guy haven't, the, 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 the 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 interview haven't called me back yet. I think there's this unwritten contract where we both just like let each other be the absorber of the frustration, you know, like just share the frustration of like 
yeah, that sucks, man. But uh, I mean, hopefully tomorrow will be better, lah. You know that kind of stuff. So there's 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 there's, there's, there's no solution there. There's no end goal. It's just sh- me and her. It's and just to listen. We just need to listen, lah. Yeah. yeah. And there's also that very old saying. I don't know whether it's an old saying or common saying, but it's like when your loved one goes to you and like wants to complain about something, you ask them, do you want me to listen or mm. do you want me to provide solutions? Mm-hmm. Then if, then from there she say like, oh, I just want you to listen. Then you just take it long because she's given you the trust. Like Denise said that she wants you to be her sounding board mm. and she trusts you with all these like kind of emotions that she has inside. Mm. I want to say that uh, this is the best part about being Christian or, or religious <laughs> because so I went through the same thing. Like my partner looking for a job for a long time, right? but ah. it's like, I never went through such a thing before. Ah. So then to me, it's like, just send resume, I just send resume. I don't get it. Like, what's the problem? Like, nobody can better send resume to someone else. Mm. Like, you know, it's the same resume. Like. Then- <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Be, 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 <laughs> cover letter matters. Guys. No, okay. <laughs> anyway, so then like to me, it's like, you keep telling me the same thing, same thing, same thing, but there's literally nothing I can do to help. Ma. Mm. Then in this situation, what can I do? As Especially someone when religious, you enjoy- <laughs> pray for you. I pray for you. Oh. Ah, then finish. <laughs> 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 oh my God. <laughs> can Buddhists not pray for each other? <laughs> can, but they need to go temple. <laughs> ah, they want to go temple. I, 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 I oh yeah, yeah. It's not directly at each other, right? Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> That's oh, my interesting. <laughs> this one. <laughs> That's my favorite go-to. <laughs> And it's the best go to. It's great. Because it's yeah, something yeah, that we like, I think there's just a different level of understanding, also, right? When, like, because yeah. we are both, like, Christian, ma, then after when I say that she, like, she be touched or so, because, oh, I pray for her, you know? Yeah. It makes you feel like your problems, like, they are, you're taking on the problem yeah. before that. You and then we give it to God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Solution, <laughs> we found it. No, but, what if, if, but what if you have to pray on the spot, then you actually never actively listen, then you suddenly forget all the problems. No, God, the generic is a huge problem. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we got a lot of templates. Yeah. <laughs> At least no, he's going through a lot in life and guiding right, through all of in them. In my head, I'm picturing like, wow, well, she opened up a nice warm towel. Then she take your problem. She put it inside. You know what <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. my life. I, I realized that that's such a great thing to Whoa. have. Versus if not, I'm just like, um, uh, I hope like things get better for you, like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the atheist out there, <laughs> <laughs> you can actually describe it if you don't See understand you it. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> no. Be with Alison or for whatever she's going through, yeah. going through emotions that people will not understand mm. because they are not in her shoes. <laughs> 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 wow, I'm so hurt. Is, she feels so hurt eh. She's like, oh yeah, so I really, you all won't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, there are a couple <laughs> more, but we're running out of time already. So we're just going to do one oh, more. Shit. The push and pull dynamic is the issue, not our partner. We are teammates against the dynamic. Can okay. you explain what I mean? Yeah, why is the push and pull dynamic? It's, it's us against the world. There's, I, I just read the whole line already. There's nothing else. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. Well, it is really push and pull in I think what it means is that in a relationship, like, you like have your emotions back. fluctuate. You as a person fluctuate. There will be times where you're very present, available. There will be times you might, where you might not be. There will be times where you feel a lot of love. Sometimes you don't feel so okay, much okay. love. So there's a push-pull cycle. So where one person <laughs> craves intimacy and the other person doesn't. That's why I see So then it will like... <laughs> yeah, so then this usually does not match. Yeah, so then when this happens, like there's a different, like someone is pushing and then someone seems to be pulling away, then how do you deal with that? Cry yeah, then recognizing that <laughs> that that this cycle is the issue and not that your partner is the problem. Uh, yeah. Why is it a cycle? You think it's really a cycle? I cycle think, in what sense? I think right, like there are moments where you have to be the one maintaining the relationship in a sense, almost. Mm, yeah. That like this person is too busy, then like no time to like think of like plan a date or whatever that kind, right? Then you have to, don't mind being the guy. And then there are more seasons or so. Don't mind being the guy. Don't mind being the- So there are gender roles now. <laughs> no, guy is a generic term. For what? <laughs> for, <laughs> for people. For people. Like, <laughs> like, hey guys, it's everyone. Ma. Oh. Yeah. So then after that, there are also going to be seasons where you are too busy to think about these things and you are too stressed by whatever so you thing. you have to be the guy. And then your partner will be the guy. Lo. <laughs> This is coming. <laughs> this is a gay relationship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two men. <laughs> hey, yo. Okay, what? Okay, what I got out of it was this, right? I think there was there was a time I and I we kept arguing, and she said this. I don't know to me or in the presence of me to our friends, like, but she said in a light manner Ooh. that I, I it's just whenever we fight, John always win, <laughs> and uh, the douchebag in me also have a have an answer for that. But I can't think to myself, <laughs> obviously. Right? But, wait, but it was not about winning or losing. Wa. It was mm. about, you know, something happened. Mm. And I didn't know you were trying to win. I, you know, like for me, I try to figure out, hey, how come I tell you this thing matters to me, but 
you seem to don't care about it, right? Mm-hmm. So a, a very simple thing like um keeping the house neat and tidy. Like Pat is back, she will just she come back, she will just lay her stuff around. And if I, I pick my battles already, you know, I try and space it out, I, I don't nag at her or whatever, right? But every two weeks I need to remind her that it matters to me, ma. Mm. Yeah, so even every two weeks, I will bring it up again because we fought many times before. Realizing when she articulated that, that wow, this whole time that when we argued to try and resolve a marital matter, right? Mm. That she was trying to win. And then she, when we reached resolution, I was like, okay, we reached resolution. But for her, it's I lost. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's not a good way to- Did you talk to her about it? Yeah. We did. And then she won to win that one. So. <laughs> and then you win yeah. that one. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's not very good. <laughs> do, do, domination. That's not very good at de-escalation. Not I'm literally good. teaching her this de-escalation. Ah. Which is what your, yeah, your course, career used to be. I have a course on that. Yeah. <laughs> if she don't de-escalate, I will need to articulate to her why I feel like she shouldn't have done that. So she always feel like she lose and everything feel like she lose. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But it's really because I have the moral high ground. What? <laughs> Yeah, but that's what I'm questioning. Eh. Like, I feel like sometimes, regardless, there's no need to articulate. Huh? But then that contradict just now our point one that no, no topic is to off limits. I also agree. No, that sometimes, right? Sure, maybe you make a mistake or she made a mistake, call out. But there, then if, if the person already said that they know where they went wrong, mm. I feel like, and I, and, and I have been like someone who does this also, I will keep having to, you understand why you're wrong, right? <laughs> it's because of this, 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 this. You know or not? You yeah. get it or not? To a partner? No, no, no. You no, get it or not? <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, the one I confirm with you all, but- <laughs> aggressive, eh? Then, like, the person, like, maybe the person's response is that, yeah, I understand what you are saying, but I still feel this way. Yeah. Mm. The moment they say, I still, eh? Mm. They're like, no, 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 no. Then I repeat again. But what I realize is that, when once they say that they understand, but they still feel this way, then it doesn't f-ing matter already. The fact that they feel that way is fine. Let them feel. Because feelings will go away, right? Mm. Yeah. So it's just- Oh, temporary. you'll be surprised. No, if you're living the- <laughs> Maybe you, you have an experience. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, picking someone on earth uh, and then decide, I will live with you until I die. <laughs> 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 it's a, it's oh, a lot of pressure on oh, okay, it. Maybe, maybe the type of problem will be specific. Mm. Yeah. And, and in that moment, I understand that the feelings are just for that specific moment or that, that issue or whatever. Mm. But then right, it's just a matter of taking care of that. Mm. And not so much about the 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 the, the actual issue ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And and I always ask like as a conversational starter. So whenever we meet like old married couples, we always ask them like, "What's the secret or <laughs> any advice for us when we newly wed?" <laughs> oh, what are the icebreakers? Newly- yeah, not bad, yeah. not bad. And it's always you must tahan. Hu xiang li rang. Uh, tolerate, tolerate. Yeah. tolerate yeah. Tahan. Tahan seems to be the number one <laughs> advice from married couples, both sides. Mm. No, but sometimes you tahan. Then what's the person say? Then you like, eh, I tahan you that time. Yeah, I tahan you so long, long eh. No, because you're like, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For example, like, let's say my, my partner forgot to, my partner forgot to uh, off the heater. Uh, okay. I say a lot of time, man. Hmm. A, a lot of time already, but I saw it one day, I just off. Okay, I yeah. shut. Then suddenly later on, he say, Hey, why you never throw your, why you leave your towel on the bed? Then ah, like, I tahan, but hey, you cannot you know, tahan. Then I say, then I like, oh, okay, sorry. By the way, just now the heater, you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> then you, then then you like, made it a like, win like, lose. Then he like, why you must say the thing? Yeah. Then I like, That's how the fight then he's start. like, yeah. Yeah, 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 then yeah. I realized, like, actually, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> then we just like, yeah, never mind lah. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other rules that can save your relationship or our relationship, let us know in the comments down below. Adios! <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't mm. let people repeat. Like, like, all over you. Offenses against you, yeah. Call me naive. Yeah, you are <laughs> fucking- <laughs> <laughs> No, but this is, how, this is how I have approached the past three years of marriage. Wrongly. It's like, <laughs> to you, uh. <laughs> 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 I, I, I see, I see. <laughs>